As most of us get on with our lives in the hustle and bustle of modern Singapore, do we ever wonder what the wisdom from ancient religions such as Buddhism have to offer to us? At the center, we are sometimes asked, why is this ancient religious tradition filled with colorful and elaborate rituals involving the offering of incense, water and other unfamiliar substances still relevant in our world today? We are also asked, what do the teachings of the Buddha that appeal to the logic of our human intellect and human psychology have to do with these rituals associated with the Tibetan Buddhist tradition that can quite easily be mistaken as superstition? What is the meaning behind actions of devotion of the highest order to the enlightened ones, such as full-length prostrations? What are the aims and objectives of the chants and prayers in this foreign language, accompanied by the beating of drums and clanging of cymbals? The Matari Buddhist Center, similar to other Tibetan Buddhist centers in our country, provides the answers to these questions. It offers a sanctuary for those who wish to learn more about Buddhism and Buddhist philosophy in the Tibetan tradition. And for those who wish to go further to discover the true nature of the human mind, to learn methods towards overcoming the challenges of being human and to becoming better members of our family units and of society. In our tradition, as is similar to all Buddhist traditions, the law of causality, or karma, is a very important starting point. It explains why many of us encounter undesirable events in this life, which we believe represent the ripening of negative karma from previous lives. Many of these events lead to heartache, pain and suffering. Whilst our religion trains us to treat these events and persons associated with these events with equanimity and neutrality, which teaching stems from the wisdom of the Buddha, compassion is equally one of the principal aspects of the path. It is in that spirit that our tradition provides, based on the teachings in the sutras and the tantras, ways and means to assist sentient beings in overcoming the afflictions and delusions that cause karma to ripen in this life in the form of undesirable events. The prayers are intended to have variously the effects of purification, of negative karma, subjugation, attraction, pacification and enrichment, and these are unique to the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. It is believed, and has in fact been experienced by many of us, that these prayers have the power to reduce the afflictions that cause us to react to certain events and phenomena negatively, thereby reducing suffering. The prayers are also effective in reducing the frequency and intensity of such undesirable events that are caused by the ripening of negative karma. The true nature of the human mind was discovered by the historical Buddha who, after enlightenment, taught the path towards cessation of suffering. In this clip, our kind resident teacher, the Venerable Geshe Lama Konchok, explains why the sutras that contain the teachings of the Buddha have to be treated with utmost respect and why they must be the starting point for any Buddhist study. He explains why copies of the sutras are meticulously bound by precious wood to reflect veneration of the highest order to the enlightened one and his teachings, which we call the Dharma. He goes further to explain the significance of Visak Day and explains the significant dates on the Buddhist calendar. The most important dates are the date of his enlightenment, that's Visak Day, the date of his first teaching which occurred 49 days after he achieved enlightenment, the day of his return to this world system from the Tavatimsa heavens after having taught the Devas there, and the other significant event is the date of his passing into Parinirvana. <laughs> 一年就是最重要是他的维沙街成功佛的日期是最重要的然后六月四号六月四号是他成功佛了四十九天之后第一开始讲课就是这个很重要就是维沙街我每天念有时候一天念一版两天念一个这样
Geshe-la explains that whilst there are many different Buddhist traditions, the teachings of the Lord Buddha have been accurately preserved in all these traditions. The Tibetan Buddhist tradition is no exception in that the starting point for any study is always the sutras that record the teachings of the historical Buddha. Therein lies the importance of knowledge and recitation of these sutras. With a thorough understanding of the true nature of the human mind comes the ability to help those in society on problems specific to this world as well as beyond. geshe is also a qualified Tibetan astrologist. The ancient art of Tibetan astrology emanates from the root tantra of Lord Manjushri. geshe provides consultations to those in need on matters relating to astrology as well as feng shui. In addition, he is learned and trained not just in the sutras, but is also adept in the Buddhist tantras unique to the Tibetan Vajrayana tradition. The center is blessed to have geshe guidance, and both the center and geshe hope to continue their work of extending help to all sentient beings. In this video, geshe gives an introduction to the name dedication service that the center offers to people who may either not have the time or otherwise face challenges in venerating the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas at home. Because the simple but important act of veneration of the Buddha and Bodhisattvas brings immense merit to the devoted, and being conscious that not everyone would be able to have the right conditions to practice, the center offers a deity name dedication service so that the devoted are still able to practice in this tradition. By renting a statue of a deity for a year for a monetary offering, the devoted are able to have such acts of devotion to the enlightened ones carried out daily on their behalf in the clean and holy environment of the center. <laughs> 大家好,我要今天解释一下 有一些家里很想拜佛每天早上到晚上没有时间拜佛我们每天点灯供养华早上每天念经会香烧香就是一天几次有一些没有健康我们每天有早上加持念经就是这个祝佛像是我们来说是很重要就是我们中心有做这个东西。Geshe-la hopes that these services will bring benefit to the devoted, and the center is also grateful to anyone who engages in this service, because any monetary offerings will go directly towards helping the center's operating costs, thereby allowing the center to flourish and to continue its work of helping all sentient beings.